Shetrajna Devnagari, Kasetrajna means the one who knows of the body, soul, spirituality, conscious principle in the corporeal frame. In the 13th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains the distinction between the Kshetra and the Shetrajna Topic. <laughs> Overview The Kshetra or the field refers to the body which is material, mutable, transitory, and perishable. The Kshetrajna refers to the conscious knower of the body who is of the same essence as knowledge, immutable, eternal, and imperishable. The knower of the body is the soul residing in the body. Kshetra is prakriti or matter which is insentient, and the knower of the Kshetra is the Purusha who is sentient. True knowledge is knowing and understanding both these two factors, the insentient and sentient. The knowledge of prakriti only, is called the apara vidya or lower knowledge, and that pertaining to the purusha is called the para vidya or higher knowledge. In the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna is told that the distinctive nature of God is eightfold constituted by the five primordial elements mind, intellect, and the ego sense, but that is the lower nature which is inferior, impure, troublesome, whose essence is bondage. The higher nature, which is the pure essential nature of God, is the higher living being, the shetrajna, the field no Power, the cause leading to the assumption of vital force by which the world is penetrated and upheld. Kshetra In the opening sloka of Chapter 13 of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna defines Kshetra and establishes the identity of the individual soul, the conscious knower of the Kshetra, with the universal soul. Idam sariram kaunteya kasetramityabhidiyate itadio vedi tam praha kasetrajnya iti tadvita 13.1. This body, Arjuna, is termed as the field, Shetra, and him who knows it, the sages discerning the truth about both refer to as the knower of the field. Shetrajna. Thereafter, he explains that, the five elements, the ego, the intellect, the unmanifest, primordial matter, the ten organs of perception and action, the mind, and the five objects of sense sound, touch, color, taste and smell, also desire, aversion, pleasure, pain, the physical body, consciousness, firmness, this is the Kshetra with its evolutes 13.5-6. Jnana knowledge. Arjuna is told that, absence of pride, freedom from hypocrisy, non-violence, forbearance, straightness of the body, speech and mind, devout service of the preceptor, internal and external purity, steadfastness of mind and control of body, mind and the senses, dispassion towards the objects of enjoyment of this world and the next, and also absence of egotism pondering again and again on the pain and evils inherent in birth, death, old age and disease, absence of attachment and the feeling of mindness in respect of son, wife, home etc., and constant equipoise of mind both in favorable and unfavorable circumstances, unflinching devotion to God through exclusive attachment, living in secluded and holy places, and finding no enjoyment in the company of men, fixity in self-knowledge and seeing God as the object of true knowledge, all this is declared as knowledge, and what is other than this is called ignorance. Sankara in his Basya explains that devotion inspired by conviction that wavers not is unwavering devotion, which devotion is knowledge. Spiritual knowledge is that of the self, meditation on it is the perception of the content of philosophical knowledge. Knowledge is what ought to be known, and the knowable is that by which one attains immortality. 429 to 430. Topic: Knower of Kshetras. Krishna tells Arjuna that Kshetrajnya kapi mam vidi sarviksetresu bharata kshetraksetrajnya yorjnyanam yutajnyanam mitam mama 13.2. Know myself to be the Kshetrajna, individual soul, also in all the Kshetras, Arjuna. And it is the knowledge of Kshetra and Kshetrajna i.e., of matter with its evolutes and the spirit which I consider as wisdom." 
Having identified himself as the Shetrajna, Krishna proceeds to describe in detail him who is Sat being and Azat non -being both, the sole witness who is eternal and present everywhere and in all things, and failing to reach whom, speech together with the mind returneth Upanishad This indescribable entity is Brahman, Jnyayam the object worth knowing, Vijnaya Madbhavaya Upapadyate in whose being the devout knowing which reality enter merge 8.18. Krishna directs that one should know Prakriti and Purusha to be beginningless, that the former is responsible for bringing forth the evolutes and the instruments, and the latter, who is the individual soul seated in Prakriti, is declared to be the cause of experience of joys and sorrows, and attachment to gunas is the cause of birth in Sat Azat Yoni. And that Dehisman Purusha Para Purusha, the individual soul dwelling in the body, is the same as the Supreme Soul Brahman. Thus, Shetrajna is the pure conscious spirit that is Purusha and Atman. Krishna does not describe Shetrajna, he describes that which is required to be known. When Jnayam Jnaya is realized, there disappears all duality and separateness in the form of knower, knowledge and what is to be known every Shetra does not have a separate Shetrajna, the Lord is the supreme Shetrajna in all the Shetras. Vedic concept The concept of sameness or oneness of the individual soul and the universal soul emphasized by the Upanishads, the Brahma Sutras, the Bhagavad Gita and other allied texts is but an echo of what was long ago revealed to the Vedic rishis and has lingered on. Atman Hinduism Durgatamas one of the Angirasa rishis of the Rig Veda in Mantra 4 of Sukta I.163 addressed to Agni states, Trini ta ahurdivi bandanani trinyapsu triniata samudri uteva mi varunas chantsyarvanyatra ta aha paramamjanatra. O oh, enlightened one! The place of your origin or birth is the same as that of mine, O oh, the finest one, if you are endowed with strength I too possess the same kind of strength of the same magnitude, O oh, the bright one, Agni, if you so happen to exist in three states or forms so does water the finest divine aspects and the earth the gross supporting aspect and all objects the entire transformation of the first cause dispersed in space existing outside and within all have three forms, O learned one, if your birth and knowledge is divine so is mine." This unique awareness of sameness which is actually the awareness of oneness is the knowledge of reality, the true knowledge of existence, gaining which knowledge the true seeker of knowledge ceases to see difference in this wide world which difference is seen only as so many names echoing and re-echoing persistently in one's mind. Sankara's opinion Sankara, in his commentary on Chapter 13 of the Bhagavad Gita with regard to the distinction between Ishvara and Jiva since the identification of the prajna the self in deep sleep state with Ishvara is problematic, states now as to the objections that Ishvara would be a Samsaran if he be one with Shetrajna, and that if Shetrajnas be one with Ishvara there can be no Samsara because there is no Samsaran, these objections have been met by saying that knowledge and ignorance are distinct in kind and effects, that all that is knowable is the Shetra, and Shetrajna is the knower and none else. And, therefore, avarna dosha obscuration of intellect which is the basic feature of deep sleep affects only individual beings and not God. <laughs> 